Captain Matt, Boater's Secret Weapon, and today we're talking about tips for taking your dog on the boat. We love to have our little furry friends out on the water with us, and they love it too, but there are things you need to think about. And the number one thing to think about is getting a life jacket for your dog. When you're talking about a doggy life jacket, you may say, why? Well, if they fall in the water, if for some reason something happens, um, they're going to get tired if they can't get to land quickly. So the bigger the body of water that you're on, the more important this is. When you think about a life vest, you want one that's one, I think it needs to be a bright color. So it's easy to spot them when they're in the water. For other boaters, if they're just out swimming around, you can always put your eyes on them. And number two, to have it have a handle on the back so you can easily lift them out of the water if they fall in, if they're just playing around and uh, you need to get them back on the boat. When it comes to getting them back on the boat, the pup plank is, I think, a must have if you don't want them to be tracking in the sand and the dirt and the mud and the muck from the islands and the sandbar. This won the Innovation Award at the uh, Miami show in 2020. Um, and we're actually fortunate that we offer these uh, via Boater Secret Weapon. Uh, it's one of, the, one of the products that has kind of fit our evaluation. And hey, this is a quality product that makes sense. And the pup plank is something that I think really solves a problem. It's got a little basket that they kind of swim into. They can get their, their hind legs on it, jump up to this section. It's, it's very firm. Uh, it's very solid. You attach it to your boat, and they can hop right onto the boat and get out of the water. Next, you want to make sure you think about water, your dog having something to drink. You want to try to keep them from drinking the seawater or the lake water or the river water and have some nice, clean, fresh water, maybe a little bit of kibble. This is the Barletta that um, they put the, the actual uh, food and water bowl on the helm so that you can pull that out and you've got one available. If you don't have this, make sure you've got a little plastic bowl or we've got one for my dogs that just kind of folds up and it easily tucks away in a little compartment or the boat bag. You also want to think about what are you going to do when it's time to go to the bathroom? Maybe you've seen this video of the dog sitting on the uh, on the cuddy cabin going down the water and um, just gets a little skittish and just poops right on the deck. Not what you want to have happen on your boat. So have a game plan. And if you are going to let them go on the island or the beach, make sure you have something to pick it up with so you don't leave it for somebody else to uh, stumble across and be polite, be courteous. A leash. A leash is something, even if your dog is really well trained, um, having a leash can give you some comfort. If the situation gets a little bit out of control, if you're at the boat ramp or the gas dock, it can make others feel a little bit more comfortable as well. If they're not super uh, confident or comfortable around dogs, just a, a nice thing to have available and to keep them under control. If you get in a, a dangerous situation and you don't want your dog uh, up running around, having some shade having some shade for them to take a nap, to get out of the sun and cool down a little bit. Um, you know, maybe even take a nap. That's a great way to go. Another thing you want to think about is if your dog's not super well-trained, like the lab, you know, he's not going anywhere. He's going to ride up in that bow, love the wind in his face and have a great time. But if it was my dog's, they could jump out at any moment and uh, they'd be a little more, uh, a little more skittish on the water. Know your dog. Another great reason why you have a leash or have the handle on the life jacket, you can keep good hold of them if they may uh, want to jump out and uh, and run away. And be cautious about tying that leash onto something in the boat. If you do that, make sure there's no possible way they can get to the edge of the boat and uh, potentially have a, a disastrous situation. If you're new to boating, check out Boater Bootcamp at BoaterBootcamp.com. You can see all the links in the description for the products that we offer and the ones that we recommend for the life jackets and the planks and different things. And remember, Life truly is better on a boat.